Hello everyone, my name is Thomas, and welcome back to Bloodborne. We are trying to go through the game a bit more since we finally got Vicar Amelia down, and might have some multiplayer drop-in soon. Not sure about that yet. Leveled up a little bit. It's really weird, I uh, turned on the game and I spawned right outside this door here. I don't know why exactly. As far as I'm aware, I should have spawned, like, anywhere else. But anyway, I got pummeled by these guys, and then I was dead, and I'm like, what the heck just happened? So. I'm not sure which way I'm supposed to go, honestly, at this point. There's one guy. Oh, darn. Not to try to fight this guy. Head on. His stick is bigger than my stick. Everybody's stupid in this game to do more damage slashing somebody from behind. I mean, it kind of makes sense that, like, you wouldn't take any extra damage from getting slashed in the back than you would getting slashed in the chest. That makes sense. But what doesn't make any sense to me is, well, you would still take a lot of extra damage because you would be able to defend yourself, really. So I'm not 100% sure what's in this direction, and honestly, I've gotten to the point where I don't remember the game anymore. So, yay. Could be good, could be bad. I think they go this way. If not, I'm about to get rocked. Or not. It's probably the worst part of all these games I have such a bad memory. I never remember which way I'm supposed to go. Oh, this looks about right. Alright, I just need to find a lamp now. Okay, so there's a guy over there dog there. Bunch of guys over there. Hmm. Let's go this way. Oh, there's a lot of dogs over here. Alright, well, if we get killed, we get killed. Gotta to try to move up forward eventually. Oh, God. Quick silver bullets. Oh, the guy just shot me. Duck and weave, duck and weave. It's really surprising how much you don't really need to dodge, actually, because it, like, gives you iframes, but you're actually quite global when you don't dodge at all. You can just move around and strafe and get pretty much the same amount of evasion. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, and like I have always said before, with games like this, only Super Mario Maker do I get audio with. Every other game I play, I actually can't hear it while I'm playing it, so... Uh -oh. oh, goodness. That was, uh, close. I either I framed the heck of that, or I got very lucky. Who got lucky and I framed? There's nothing that's exclusive. Yeah, but that's the problem when I'm playing games like Bloodborne. I cannot hear what's going on at all. And I kind of don't like that, because that... I don't even know I'm being shot at until, you know, I'm already being blasted. I wonder if it's because I'm wearing the lantern that uh, these guys keep shooting so well. Okay, we're finally starting to build up a stockpile of silver bullets now. We're gonna head this way because why not? Hello, gentlemen. Okay. Oh, that was. Okay, I do that there. Okay, so now we got a bit of a stockpile of bullets built up, which means we can at least try parrying again. We haven't been able to parry in a long time. Bone marrow ash, thick cold blood, and well, too thick cold blood. So that was actually quite worth it. I think that's it over here. Yeah, the only problem with this game is that I really can't hear anything that's going on, so when I get shot at, I actually have no idea what's happening. And I'm literally just stuck there like, what the heck? What did I do to get hurt? So. And we're past the point of my memory, so at this point, jump scares will probably happen. Seeing as I cannot see what's going on. That was lucky. That was not lucky. Okay, I'm gonna shot at. So he's shooting at me. But this is an area I already cleared, so that kind of sucks. 
Oh, got twin bloodstone shards. Didn't see how many go. Alright, you need some, sir. Bone marrow ash. I think bone marrow ash makes your next attack with the gun or something stronger. If I'm correct. Twin bloodstone shard again. Cool. So I'm mostly going for the saw cleaver. I've heard people say the uh, spear cleaver is better, but I don't remember if that it's true or not. I mean, I think it's just a quality build I'm doing, so... <laughs> oh. The specters like that are death. Okay, those are blood stains. I would really like a lamp post right now. I feel like I've earned it. Okay, so I thought that was locked at first, so that's good. Okay, there. Lamp post. Awesome. I'm pretty sure Henwick is actually optional, so we may have just wasted some of our time. Oh well. There is a boss over this way. Kind of a crappy one, but... It's like this witch or something. If you have no insight, the fight is stupidly easy. My goodness. Okay, first of all, just dogpiling a guy. Not the way to get his attention, ladies and gentlemen. I, I guess it's gentlemen, too. I should be more open-minded. And got the chocolate after all in this game. Okay, so this is my one problem with Bloodborne, is the total lack of healing stuff. Like, items in it. Like, come on. You have to farm so much to get a steady supply of healing stuff. I mean, you can attack stuff and get to rally, and that makes it somewhat useful, but that only means you have to take damage first in the first place, though. I'm pretty sure this is a death trap. I'm pretty sure. 99% sure. Maybe it's only death trap because of the person that comes over this way. I know what it took out. No, I don't. I'm not an expert at this game. I should really stop saying I think I know anything because I don't. Talk. I don't hear anything. Okay, this is a shortcut. You know, it'd be really, really cool if there was a way to, like, skip. Because in Demon Souls, there was, like, skips you could do. They were risky, but... Okay, I still think you can climb that ladder, actually. I think my guy's just, uh, not very brave. Alright, well... The only way to build up blood vials is to not use them, so... Time to get good at the game, guys. Not bad. First try parry. I mean, it's kind of a waste. You don't really need to parry an enemy like that. Tempering bloodstone gem. Or blood gemstone. Yeah, you just don't really need to parry at all. Because if you parry an enemy like that, you lose the opportunity to just, you know, two-shot them. So I don't think parry at all. Up, but I again go away, Fido. Okay, that was not here. Oh, okay. now we have to use Club Wild. Well. I thought there was an item she just dropped. No, I do oh, crap. Pick cold blood again. So, yay, ready for cold blood. This area is just absolutely annoying. Okay, see, that's what you know about the rally. You have to take damage first for it to even start to heal you. Which I mean, it's kind of cool, and it's a good it's a good concept. It allows you to like, go ape on a boss, and it kind of encourages it. But it doesn't at the same time, if you know what I mean. It feels like it wants you to do something, but it doesn't. Because the bosses still two or three shot you in, like, most cases. So, like, rallying against them doesn't particularly help. Like, against this guy, rally's not helpful. Oh, no! Darn! Crap, 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 crap. Back up, heal. Okay. 
try a parry again on this guy. Okay, that should have been a parry in my opinion. It's like, here, the rally will help to get some of our health back. That's good. But, I mean, if we do it all the time, I think it'd be better than just getting heals sometimes. Like, if you've already taken a bunch of hits. Yay, more Twin Bloodstone Shards. So I think I'm going to stick with Slug Lever, probably. I might switch it up if there's a reason to. That's not nice. Again, that's not nice. What is wrong with you? Think about what you've done down here when I kill you. Good. Alright, so how do we... I guess it's closed by that device right there. Alright. What else? We got this. Okay, so then we go down here, and then... This is just a drop-off point, I guess. The item. Yeah, this is not... A I kind of remember this area. I kind of don't. Because I remember that person there. Because I think I, the last time I played this game, they kind of rushed me and got me. Oh, so Gross. Bad bro. Pebble. No. I find it funny when my laptop like sends me a notification while I'm playing a game. It's like bum. And like, what? Okay, that falls off the map. Yeah. More crows. Crows are kind of annoying because they'll just barely see them and they don't generally guard anything useful. It's like a pebble or something. Do I want to go through here? I think this is the shortcut I just saw, so. I think so, right? Yeah, that would save you a little bit of time. Not a, not a huge amount, but a little bit. So, kind of worth it. God, covered in blood. So that's the point, though. Uh, oh my goodness! What is that shove move? Yeah. I can't do that. That caused me a lot of damage. Well, there she goes. Okay, I've got more bone marrow ash. What does bone marrow ash do? Additional medium that strengthens quicksilver bolts. Okay, so we'll put that down here. To get a stronger, I know you can get like a cannon in the end, and if you put like bone marrow ash on it or something, it does like insane damage, like one shot kind of damage. Oh, I screwed that up. Oh, that was a partial too. Oh, oh I got right into that. Oops. Oh, that was And here's our trusty elevator again. What the? I did not see that before. Alright. Ride me up, elevator. It's almost kind of worth getting it. We just gonna have to walk all the way back. I know, I think we probably could have seen that attack coming if we hadn't had, like, uh, maple syrup over our eyes or strawberry jam and a bandage. Not really sure why you bandage over your eye or what kind of tactical advantage that would give you. Okay, so I think the next enemy is just this guy over here. Oh my gosh, she always does that rush. Okay, so he's gonna wait a little long for that. Yeah, it's, little... it's not too terrible, the timing on that. It's fairly forgiving, just not perfect. Gotta be careful. Not to screw up the dodge or the anything. Oh my goodness. Ugh. Okay, please, please. Don't do this. You have nothing to live for. You evil Molotov throwing jerk. I'm not sure why I pressed up there. Alright, we got our blood echoes back. We got a few extra vials too. Oh, I gotta turn on the uh, torch. 
hand lantern. There we go. This is so much better than using an actual torch and, you know, losing the weapon capability of the pistol. That, you can see stuff coming out. It's in the dark. I think it also actually gives you lock on range. It's kind of funny, I rolled into them and actually staggered them, so. Sweet. Okay, so where are you guys? I think there's one more enemy in here. Could be wrong, but I don't think I am. Well, I guess not. Alrighty. Okay, I knew there was another something. Please, stop running. Where are you? I never actually got that close to look at one before. Really wish I hadn't. <laughs> Alright, so do I want to stick with the Kirk Hammer or do I want to switch out to something different? I'm not 100% sure what I really want to do at the moment because weapon wise, the Sock Cleaver's doing alright. I just would like something with a bit more punch to it in the end. Okay, there's. I think there's definitely a guy up here. Just, oh crap, that's what I meant. Rally a bit. Okay, so I think we can get that weapon. We combine that with uh, bone marrow ash, and it can do insanely good damage. Like one shot somebody. I already said that, but still, it's impressive. And impressive things are worth repeating. Okay, I don't know who that hunter is in silhouette, but I've seen him a couple times now. So I'm thinking there's only a couple people playing in this area right now. Also, we gotta watch out for more of the uh, guys with cannon launchers, apparently. I do wish in Bloodborne you could get tankier armor. That's one of my complaints about it. I mean, I get the point is to move quickly and everything, but it feels like there's no good armor set. And there's no point to really wearing a lot of it. Because at the moment, I'm wearing the best armor I can get in the game. I didn't get the actual carry, but it's still missed. Blood vials? No? Okay. Alrighty, I think this is all we have to do now. Bam! Ow. Rude. Very, very rude. Okay, I've got more cool dude blood. Alrighty, I don't think this is what I want to do. I'm annoyed if I lose these echoes. Okay, that time we did not screw up the this one. Alright, this is white enough. Oh crap! Okay, he's down, he's healed, I'm not losing these echoes. It's like two level up. And we could use the level up right now. Feel like we are underpowered. The UP, we're underpowered. Holy crap, there's no crazy people. I say more because uh, we are crazy people. Okay, so first of all, I know that this is a bad idea. Holy crap, that guy looks like an abyss watcher. A phantom. Okay, just fall, please. So what is my move here? So if I drop down here, that's a path for sure. It looks like it. I'm pretty sure... Yeah, This so this is definitely an optional area. Now I remember that. Yay. Oh, there's water there. So, this is definitely an optional area. I think that's the gate we can go through, which... Combined with the shortcut, it saves a little bit of time. I think we gotta go through that little carriage house, though. I think. And that person we knocked off the edge is gone. So, who knows what's gonna happen. Go and die! Oh my god. I'm a little uh, embarrassed I jumped there. I should have known that was gonna happen. I should have felt it, like, sensed it, something. Just goes to show you that even if you think you know this game, you don't know it that well. 
Ah, who am I kidding? I, I don't really know Bloodborne. I played it once, and it's like, okay, I don't want to ruin this game by... Okay, that's kind of a rude note, but kind of funny. So I could run. Activate that switch. Or, wait, these guys are walking away. Or not. I could activate this switch here. And then, if we activate this, we got like a shortcut right back, don't we? Cool. As long as nobody comes through there. I'm just so paranoid because I don't want to lose all these blood echoes. You can always just teleport back but to use them. Oh god. We've been made. I don't think you can fit through this doorway. I mean, kinda can. Kinda can. Let's see if we can, like, get a parry on it. Through the door. Yeah. Oh god, he can fit. I didn't know that. You can guard, too. Wow, you can kind of, like, use it. Okay, this is weird. I want to bait him to attack him so I can try parry on him. Oh, it worked. It worked. So when do we want to hit him? No, that's too late. Oh, it's basically on the wall. I'm wasting bullets here, but I want to get, like, the parry time down on this idiot. Ah, you missed. Again. Oh, goodness. Oh, my God, I still killed there. Alright. <laughs> Damn. Oh, from never change. Okay. Change, please. What is that? This is bull. Okay, I murdered your husband. That's hardly an appropriate response. He hung himself in the doorway. I didn't kill him and hang him. Alright, let's see if we just... Let's just lure this guy. I don't feel like fighting him straight. Me fight fairly? <laughs> do I ever do that? Come on. Come on. You know you want to. Get stuck in the doorway. I'm gonna go for the long run of this weapon so we can attack. Little easier. Actually, I should the parry for you because I do want to learn this. Bam. Nice. Alright, so we wasted a lot of bullets there, but that... It's kind of good we learned that, because now we know how to fight this guy. Alright, let's stick to the high ground, because guys from above can, you know, attack you. People from below cannot. I mean, they can, they can only start rushing, they can't really start, like, directly chasing me down, you know, like, freaking hell with us. That's a rump side, that's a dog and a game. A game, so, it's just... Why is there all this more? Put one down. Go away, please. You need to stop homing in on me. Alright, fine. Let's do this. Leroy Jenkins. I'm making like a 200 year old meme, but sure, why not? So how did this guy die? He ran out to get the item. Got ambushed. Who ambushed him though? I don't think there's an enemy over here, and if not, I'll just panic roll. Please. Okay, yeah, so there's nobody there, but this is a precariously placed little item, isn't it? Lake. I mean, yes, it's a lake. An ocean, maybe? I can't tell. Kind of fuck covered in fog, so. If it wants to say it's a lake, it's a lake. Bone marrow ash. Okay, cool. See, we could use a bone marrow ash if we felt like it. Against the uh, witch. Kind of like, I don't think the pistol does that much damage even with a bone marrow ash, but I don't think saving them is going to do anything for us, so. It really doesn't matter, I guess. 
Just do whatever we feel like. Okay, so there's a big guy over there. We got some, uh, bros coming down. I think we'll, we're gonna use one right now. This will make the next shot of the pistol, like, really good. Like that. So, not bad. You could probably... Oh, God. Run away. <laughs> Please. I don't know what you think I did, but if I did it, I didn't... I did it, I did it because I don't like you. <laughs> okay, not bad. We are almost out of bullets here. Alright. So the big guy, he did not chase us. Or he... We either got out of his range. Or he's on a very set pattern. Alright. Well, it's time to fight one of these guys straight. Sort of. We're going to try and get the parry timing. But if not, we can use the... We can use the At least, we can do the and damage. Okay. Oh, we got four blood vials. That'll be helpful for the boss fight. This isn't turning out to be a bad video, actually. I'm learning a little bit to do with uh, editing, so... We're gonna probably cut out a bit of this fight. Well, this is serious. It's boring. Maybe? I don't know. I like having everything in the video so that... Oh, that way if I make a reference, then it's like, Oh, I cut that part of the video. Darn. I'm not upset or annoyed. But I could also see from other people's perspective why they wouldn't want to watch it necessarily. Oh, good. Yeah, you. You're like a crystal lizard, but horrible and disfigured. Alright, so this is definitely the witch. Remember, attack from <laughs> What the heck does that even mean? Is there a summon around here or no? Oh my goodness. I don't even check messages nowadays. I wonder if we can get a summon. Let's try using the uh, summoning bell. Uh, sure. Let's beckon somebody. So, because this boss with no insight is actually fairly, fairly easy. Like, pretty darn easy. We'll wait around for a minute until we get help. Alright, well, we're not getting any help, it looks like. Darn it. Um, fired and... Okay, so let's just use this. Maybe we'll get our thing back. Okay, so we got our inside back, so it's kind of worth it. Yeah, that's why I fired it. I'm pretty sure I'd get it back. I wasn't 100% sure, though. Alright, so. This boss fight is, like, stupidly easy if you have no insight at all. If you have insight, though, it's like... Things like and then you gotta find the real witch. Which is hard to do, because it kind of blends in everywhere. And those guys will just keep spawning in the area. Okay, here we go. Let's see if we can get this. Nope. Apparently not. So where is the... Witch. All right, let's just go take down the big baddie. Let's see if we can get a parry. Nope, apparently not. All right, let's go hammer. Little hammer, hammeroni and cheese. So like a real, a little red light will appear, and then that's where she'll pop up. So okay, good. Oh yes, come on, baby. Please stop trying to teleport. Alright, so where is her new clone? This is like a really simple fight anyway. I think the funny thing is, is that like this fight is like stupidly easy if you lose it and come back and have no insight. Like, the boss does not do basically anything. The whole fight. Alright, I'm gonna try being smart. Okay, didn't work, so let's keep resting. Okay, so like, like I said, if you just... Okay, there they are. I think they can... Yep, yeah, they can fake it. Oh, crap. Now there's two of them. We're not going to be too hot. 
this stage. Let's try switching up the uh, fight button. That would get more range. And if we get more range, you can do stuff like that a bit easier. But just don't fight stupid. That's the key to playing any sort of game. Oh darn, that's fighting stupid. She hit me, but I kept attacking. So, whose fault is it really that I got hit? Oh my goodness, no! Is this close to winning? You're not dying to the witch Penwick. Now it sounds like a bad possession move. It's like, oh my goodness. Leave me alone. So how many of these witches can spawn again? Okay. I don't even remember if this is what you want to do, like if you even want to kill all these guys. I don't even think it matters in the long run. I think you can just take out the boss and then they'll like, drop down. Like drop in. So, not really sure why I did it! <laughs> so close. Alright, and it. Uh, this will work. Boom. Alright. And it. Okay, that's not so bad. I think. What? What's going on here? That's right. Okay, that's why this fight's crap. I remember that. If you only have, if you have like no insight, she doesn't spawn a, a second. Point. It's just one. Okay, so you cannot outhand that one there. I mean, it's just not sucking game, but not sucking is not what I do. Oh my god, you dead? Don't die here, please. Just stay and heal if you have to. I am alive! Yeah, if you come back out with no insight, this fight is like stupid, because the second one doesn't spawn. And I don't think the clones can get me. Holy crap. <laughs> please! Don't do this! Okay, please be the real one. I gotta get a hit in to win this thing. Well, we're gonna try the tr tried and true running for our life in the thing. Real? Oh my god. I hate this fight. I've already done this as far as I'm concerned. Alright, well, we're dead. I think it goes without saying we've screwed this one up entirely and completely. Ow. Me alone! <laughs> What's my deal? I'm just spamming dodge, but I wanna live! Please, just stop. This isn't fair. I didn't even turn this. I just like spam dodge, I'm like, don't kill me! Oh god, there's two of them here. I have never fought this boss without the being. Oh, god, that was bad for me. Please, stop. I don't need two of you. Back, I don't need one of you. Summon off more clones. I get it. You suck. Okay. Oh goodness, that's not what I want. This boss is like a four million bars. Nope. Oh goodness, you got right in my face there, didn't you? That was a stupid spot for you to spawn. I think these guys just died. Let's be careful. Okay, they do. I don't know what the bloodshot eyeball does, but I'm not sure. Yeah, I'm just 100% sure that fight sucks. Woo! Oh, at least we did the, the normal straight way of doing it, not like the cheesy way. Down here, there's no boss fight, it's just an item. I think it's the uh, rune. The Carol rune item? Yeah, rune workshop tool. Oh my god, they killed me. It's the same me. All right, everybody, we're going to end this video here. My name is Thomas. Thanks, all, thanks everybody, for watching. I will see you in the next one. We're going to start hosting uh, fight clubs every Sunday. So we're either going to pick Dark Souls 3, Dark Souls 2, Bloodborne. Well, I'm not really sure, but we're going to try and start hosting those every week at least once. Anyway, if you want to be a part of it, all I need is your PSN name so I can add you, and then we'll pick a password every week. All right, thanks for watching, guys. Have a great day.